Hi, my name is Gijs, and together with my dad, I'm reviving this beautiful schooner called Tigerai. In the last video, I told you guys I would give you a tour of the ship, but I need a little bit more time to do this properly. So instead, I will share with you guys an overview of the plans that we have for the ship. So, there will be a lot of talking in this video, but if you want to see us do some actual work, you can skip to this time. I will try to share with you an overview of all the things that we're gonna do to the ship. Now this list is by no means complete, so forgive me for not giving you a complete overview, but I will try to do my best. Now we started preparing to remove the old wheelhouse. As some of you might have noticed, the aft mast is going straight through this wheelhouse. So in order to get it off, first we need to take off the aft mast. Now when the old wheelhouse is off, straight away We'll put the new wheelhouse on top and then we can uh, start preparing everything to weld the wheelhouse in place actually. So when the new wheelhouse is completely finished and installed, we'll put on a longer aft mast because it looks better. Then we will remove the bumpkins on the aft, so the back stays we will um, just attach to the deck. The bumpkins are actually used for um, hanging the dinghy, so we'll install some davits on the aft railing. And then we'll need to shorten the aft boom because it makes the mizzen sail look a lot better when it's a little bit more narrow and a little bit higher. Now we also need to remove the boom of the mainsail because um, with the new wheelhouse it's not able to pass from starboard to port. So we'll get rid of that completely and then we'll install a mainsail with a wishbone because the sail area of this is a lot bigger and um, Compared to a Bermuda sail, it also looks a little bit more classic. Now in the front, we will add one more stay. So the sail area uh, in front of the foremast is divided over three jibs, or one four stay sail and an inner and outer jib. Again, because this looks better and it's easier to handle three smaller sails than two very big ones. Now, just in case anybody is wondering, the ship is currently quite weather helm, getting a little bit extra sail on the front and a little bit less sail in the back, moves the sail point forward, which is good for its overall sailing properties. Now that's mostly it for the outside part, oh, except for some solar panels on top of the new wheelhouse. So then we can move inside. Starting with the saloon, we will remove this bulkhead, but inside the bulkhead is actually the steering gear, so we will uh, move the steering gear to a lower position, so that we can place a table on top of it, and then we will make a big table with seats around, so that we have a lot bigger saloon, instead of this aft cabin, which is now a little bit loss of space. There used to be a wood stove inside the saloon, we still have this in the attic, so we will install it back. Because I think there is nothing more nice and cozy than having a wood stove inside of your ship. Moving on to the engine room. The current engine room is very big and um, inside there used to be a giant six cylinder Vivian engine. The foundation of this engine is still there just to give you an idea of its size. Now this engine was broken and that's actually why the previous owner, a tugboat company, sold the ship. This engine was repaired, or so they thought, but it was actually standing straight below the mizzen mast. So the mizzen mast is standing on top of an A-frame instead of going all the way to the keel. This engine has long been replaced by a smaller one 
with actually almost the same power. The A-frame is still there and there's a lot of spare space in the engine room. When the mizzen mast is removed, we will also remove the A-frame and lengthen the mast and then put it straight on the keel. Now the new wheelhouse is longer, so we need to install a floor for this wheelhouse where currently the uh, engine room hatches are located. To create more cabin space, we will close off the engine room by placing watertight bulkheads on both sides of the mizzen mast. Now we need to create a new emergency escape from the engine room which will go into the wheelhouse and then we will create two more cabins one on port side and one on starboard side in the space that was previously the forward of the engine room and then we also need to install a stairs going down from the wheelhouse to the cabin area now a little bit more forward the toilet and the shower need to be redone Actually the shower is still there but the toilet has long been removed. Uh, we only have a toilet in the saloon and uh, one more toilet is definitely nice when you are sleeping in one of the forward cabins. Then even more forward we'll go to the forecastle and here we will install a bow thruster. Now we've done this before on another ship, actually the ship that I'm on right now. And it's really really nice to have when you are maneuvering in small spaces or in marinas. So while we're at it we might as well install a bow thruster there also. Alright, enough talk. Let's do some actual work. In a few moments the transport company will come to shift the wheelhouse from the container to right next to the ship. So that we can start preparing to uh, exchange the old one with the new one. So yesterday the transport company came to move the wheelhouse and we actually called him only to move the wheelhouse but he was kind enough to also shift the bottom part of the aft or mizzen mast. So now we already have the standby for when the aft mast is removed. Now this wheelhouse has been uh, covered in trees for a few years so uh, let's do some cleaning first. Hey Dad, what are you doing? Why? Because it's dirty. <laughs> So we will straight away paint the uh, new wheelhouse so that we have no more problems with the oxidation of the aluminium. 
Now we're using a water-based wash primer that's dry in about two hours, so that the smooth aluminium surface has a good adhesion to our paint. And then we can use the normal primer that we use on the rest of the ship also. Now I know oxidation gives bare aluminium a protective layer. But we are not planning to keep the wheelhouse unpainted, so we don't want oxidation on the wheelhouse anymore. Other things we did this week are removing the last windows from the old wheelhouse. And we've been quite busy with some other jobs that we do on the side in order to fund this complete project. So that's all for now. If you have any questions or advice, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Thank you.